The company exposed last night in a Call Curtis investigation for operating without the necessary state permit has been in trouble before. And we call on Curtis Ming with what the state records are showing. 368 counts against them in the past two years for breaking more than a dozen state laws and rules. The company has paid thousands in fines for, among other things, the same exact thing we caught them doing, operating on a suspended permit. Two ninety nine for the four hours? Yeah, two ninety nine, yeah. We had no problem renting a limo from Coastal Breeze Limousine a few weeks back, even though the state suspended the company for not paying its fees. Thank you so much. And now we've uncovered these state records showing the Public Utilities Commission fined them five thousand dollars last year for breaking seven state laws, including operating after the suspension of its permit and having drivers who do not possess the proper California driver's license. A year earlier, Coastal Breeze was fined three grand for violating 10 state laws, including engaging seven drivers who do not possess the proper California driver's license and for not having the minimal level of insurance coverage. We started investigating the company after reading a series of customer complaints claiming the company charged bogus cleanup fees. There was absolutely no barf in the limousine. Tanya Taney's group was charged $500 to clean up vomit. Newlywood Stan and Lindsay Hamlin faced a $50 spill charge for a mess they say they didn't make on their wedding day. It's not possible that there was anything spilled. We stopped by Coastal Breeze Limo's Sacramento office several times and left messages. Company co-owner Eugene, seen here on his Facebook page, told us over the phone, 90% of the time we have photos to prove the damage. He and manager Sasha stood by the charges and promised to show us their photo proof, but they never did. There's definitely something wrong with the way that they're treating their customers. The PUC says the company got caught up on their fees getting their permit back this week. The company suggested last night they were not aware of the suspension and did not have a chance to fight it. The state is now reviewing this case. So what do state regulators do? Of course, this is a company that you just have told us has a problem here, and it's a repeated problem. You catch them doing about the same thing. What do they do now? We don't know if they're going to do anything in the past. It has been fines. They have the power to charge them criminally. People could spend up to three months in jail. Mm. Uh, but we don't know what's going to happen, so we're going to stay on top of this. Okay, good. I'm All good right. To know. Thank you. If you have something you want us to investigate, let us know. You could call our hotline Monday through Friday, 916-374-1343, or you could always go to our website, cbssacramento.com. Click on Contact Curtis.